Hang on, not the, no, not that shirt. Why? No. Well, you wore it last time about yeah, massacre. Yeah. What's this video about? <laughs> Current massacre. All right. <laughs> and we're golden. Today I thought we'd do a quick video about the one liberal who actually knows how to do social media, Craig Kelly. Yeah, the friendly Geordies of the Liberal Party. He's a backbencher, i.e. there should be deli owners with shops called Debbie's Devilishly Debonair Devon that beat him in numbers, but he beats ScoMo and Albo. Look at this insta thought. Hundreds of thousands of likes as he stumbled across a secret that no other Liberal MP has discovered, which is instead of telling boring elite sanctioned lies, you tell funny dumb lies. Also, have blood pressure so high that you look like a concerned beetroot who appears to be permanently confused as to whether it's his turn to talk in Parliament or not. Can't be any more Aussie than being a human, McOsberger! I feel like I'm one of those knobs who works in a social media agency trying to break down the success of an influencer, which 99% of the time is tits. And Craig Kelly's no exception. Ooh. Baby Thirsty. Some of the other boxes he ticks are drama. Like all climate deniers and anti-vaxxers, Kelly relies on a technique known as illiteracy. This allows him to misread studies and then repeat the misunderstandings to his audience, which leads to the scientists who wrote those studies saying shut the f up, to which he replies, no, that's free speech. Doesn't correct himself, and the rest of the Liberal Party, including the wets, pretend he doesn't exist, then go on Twitter to say, oh my God, how could the Republicans let Trump spread mistruths? That's why I like him, because he makes the worst faction of the Liberal Party uncomfortable just by sitting near them. <laughs> Can't get rid of me, can ya? No! He's making it harder for me to appear like I have convictions. He makes the wets dry, really proving that all these ideological divides are nothing more than the next social media influencer tip, which is, sell your soul for two nights in a mildly okay motel. Craig Kelly likes to paint himself as the last crusader, battling bigger battles than mere worldly quibbles. Heavenly, making sure that shakes say Merry Christmas, which I think we can all agree is a fair shake of the sauce bottle, and that sauce is f***ing tomato sauce, yeah, that's what I want on my snack pack, and by snack pack I mean cock, suck it and pretend it's your candy cane. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is a staunch defender of Christian values, but also of the Azerbaijani government. As a sitting MP, Craig Kelly has received multiple all-expenses-paid trips to Azerbaijan, and as someone who's visited Turkmenistan, which is the country just on the other side of the Caspian Sea, got to admit, a bit jealous, that area is mad, but I swear he has less disagreements with the Azerbaijani government than he does with the Australian government, and he's part of the Australian government, claiming, Oh yeah, Australia can learn a thing or two about how to run a democracy from these blokes. Surpasses Australia's experience for sure. Coherent democratic process. If you don't know anything about Azerbaijan, including that you didn't know it existed until I mentioned it, purely based on the fact that its name is Azerbaijan, you know we can't learn a thing or two about democracy from there. In 2013, they accidentally released their election results a day before the election. Yeah, sneak peek, mate. The president made his wife the vice president. Hey, well, he's the president, mate. I give the missus something to do. The only person on earth that could learn a thing or two from Azerbaijan's election system is Joe Election Fraud Biden. Wow, a joke that makes you think. They're also, just casually, waging a war against Christian natives as we speak. In fact, war is a euphemism. It's more an extermination. Numerous war crimes, constant shelling of civilians. I would show you footage of their atrocities, but this is so much scarier. This tells you everything you need to know about their society. This is a pop song in Azerbaijan.
Sorry that went on for a while, but where was I supposed to stop it? There is so much to unpack there. First off, wood. Second, glad to see they're big supporters of the LGBT community. Third, a society of Christians with bling. The oldest Christian society on earth, and Kelly's cool with a society that makes pop songs about wiping them out because... Oh, f*** yeah. I reckon there's less burkers in Azerbaijan than Bankstown. <laughs> I told you he's funny. His worldview is... I'm alright with public beheadings, systematic murders of the religion I'm hell-bent on defending, as long as I can see the face of who's doing it. Plus, they probably say before pulling the trigger, Merry Christmas. Bish. Christ, Craig, if you're going to pay Azerbaijan, at least praise that its sick capital city looks like aliens invaded the Ottoman Empire after the Russians invaded it. But to be a fan of those who have destroyed 89 medieval churches, 5,840 intricate cross stones and 22,000 tombstones, a lot of them replaced with mosques, when he runs on a platform of defending Christian values, brings me to the central reason I detest the liberals. If Craig Kelly actually liked the Azerbaijani government or genuinely thought Australia should be a Christian state, I'd say, hmm, tell me more and I might become a freedom fighter for your cause, sure. But he doesn't actually believe in these things. He believes in a free motel. You know that scene in Lisa Goes to Washington where she sees all the politicians as pigs eating money out of a trough? That's all I see when I look at Craig Kelly. In fact, that's all I see when I look at any liberal. You feed them any slop at all, a tiny donation to their campaign, aeroplane tickets. I swear you could give them a photo of Jeremy Clarkson that you downloaded off the net, just as long as it feels like a bribe. <laughs> oh yeah, grand tour, <laughs> not bad. They'll squeal your praises because the only reason they're in what should be the most selfless profession there is, is for themselves. Craig Kelly's an anti-vaxxer, but he voted for no jab, no pay as soon as the slightest political pressure was put on him. He's a staunch defender of Christian values, but he defends probably the most anti-Christian government on earth. In fact, I'm pretty sure people say that they're worse than ISIS when it comes to persecuting Christians. And they get a pass with him because, well, they gave me a pass. It's like I'm in the MIB. Just thought I'd share this news with you because I think that we can do some serious damage to him by turning his little myth that he's invented for himself on its head. Meme review. The more boomer, the better. I want to see hundreds of you think that Craig Kelly's Aussie because his last name makes you think maybe he's related to Ned Kelly. Well, if you think that, in the words of the guy from the castle, you're dreaming. Caliphate Craig, he loves Muslims. Get the hashtag going. Hashtag Caliphate Craig, cause damn it, we're telling it like it is. He thinks Azerbaijan holds better elections than Australia, does he? Fact. Craig Kelly hates Australia. Make those memes, send them to friendly Geordies, and then spread them around the net under the hashtag, hashtag Caliphate Craig. Let's see if we can make his seat marginal, just to see if we can avert his lips any further when he's angry. <laughs> like this video if you agree that Craig hates Christians. Subscribe if you don't support his obvious disgust for Australia. And then, Press the notification bell if you believe in the sweet sound of the national anthem. And if you really want to piss him off, donate to these brave Christian soldiers. Play it out, Todd Flanders. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching as to war.